Oligometastatic non-small cell lung cancer is a relatively uh, new description of a limited burden of metastatic disease and more and more we're exploring new ways of treating this and one of the treatments that's being explored in trials is using ablative treatment to be quite aggressive in this setting to see if we can improve outcomes. So the most uh, exciting data we've had out in the last few months, first of all we've had an update from an American study uh, by Dr Gomez uh, that he gave some updated overall survival data on his study in what we call a synchronous oligometastatic setting. So that's when the oligomets are found at the same time as the primary tumour up front. Um, and the overall survival in this phase two study, randomised, uh, was positive, suggesting benefit from the local ablative therapy in addition to standard of care systemic treatment. Uh, and then at the same conference a few months ago, we also had the first randomised evidence to suggest also benefit uh, in the metachronous oligometastatic uh, population. That's when the oligometastases are found at a time point following treatment of the primary tumour. So again, the first time we've had randomised evidence in that setting, again phase two, uh, suggesting uh, survival and progression free survival benefit. In both of those two settings, in synchronous and metachronous, we've got larger uh, phase two and phase three studies uh, coming through from North America uh, and also we're recruiting uh, in the UK. So in the UK we have the SARIN study, which is a phase three uh, in the synchronous setting. Uh, and in the uh, metachronous setting, we have an ongoing phase two study called CORE. The third area that we're exploring is something called oligoprogressive disease, which is when you're on a systemic anti-cancer therapy and that therapy is maintaining control of the majority of your disease, but we just see a few sites of disease progressing, known as oligoprogressive disease. Um, we had a study in, in the UK in the mutation positive population of patients who either have an ALK or an EGFR or a ROS1 mutation on tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Uh, and the patients there seem to oligoprogress. We're randomising in the HALT trial, again exploring the use of uh, local ablative therapy in that setting.